Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with our November 2014 video blog. Today we're going to talk about beam tint. And if you watched our video blog from last month, you would have seen a couple photos taken from flashlightguide.com that were used to show the difference between the hard edge beam that's created by a reflector-based flashlight and the tactically superior soft edge beam that's created by an LZ modular flashlight's optical lens. Well, if you looked at those photos, beyond the difference between the hard edge and the soft edge beams, you would have also noticed a very big distinction in coloration or in beam tint. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, if you look at most tactical flashlights on the market today, you'll see they're very blue in color. They have a very bluish tint that is often referred to as a cool tint beam. Manufacturers use these cool tint beams because they tend to have higher lumen ratings. And when the marketing department controls the business, they want higher and higher lumen ratings, they tend to use these blue tinted beams. This photo, the same one used in our October video blog, shows a Brand X flashlight, and you'll notice that the beam tint is very bluish. Now this cool tint beam, as they're often called, casts a blue hue on everything it illuminates. Now the garage that looks like a light blue color is actually white and the shutters that are on either side of the entry door to the garage are normally a dark red, but in this illumination they appear nearly black. And if you look at the siding on the screened-in porch, it looks to be the same color as the garage, namely a light blue. But in reality, it truly is a light blue, but it's indistinguishable between the white siding on the garage. Now, let's compare this photo to one taken under the same conditions in the same location with an LZ modular flashlight. This is an LZ Bravo with a high output AVS head. Notice the coloration differences. Notice that the colors I mentioned before now are obvious. Now they are apparent. The white siding of the garage is indeed white. The shutters that are red are indeed red. And if you look closely, this might be hard to see if you're looking on your cell phone while you watch this video, but if you have a big screen and you look closely, you can see that indeed the color of the screened in porch is indeed slightly blue compared to the white siding of the garage. I'm sure you notice from those photos, again, the coloration very different between the cool tint beam of the Brand X flashlight and the neutral tint of the LZ modular flashlight that brings out the true colors as they really are. Now this is more than simply uh, the ability to take photographs with accurate color rendition. Imagine if you have this tactical flashlight and you have a suspect that has been identified as having a red shirt and he was last seen by a blue house. Well imagine using that cool tinted beam. His red shirt's going to appear black when you're searching for the suspect. And when he's behind a blue house, nearly every white house in the neighborhood is going to appear to be that light blue house. But if you have the LZ modular flashlight with a high output AVS head and the neutral tint, you can rightly identify his red shirt and the blue tinted house. And it's going to give you tremendous advantages in searching and assessing your environment. Now, not only is the color rendition so much better from a neutral tint beam compared to a, a cool tint beam, but also when you get in environments that are filled with fog or smoke or haze, the ability to cut through the haze and the fog and the smoke without backscatter, without glare, is generally accepted to be much more effective, much easier on the eyes with a neutral or a warm tint beam than it is with a cool tint beam. Most people will agree that the glare that comes off fog and smoke and haze from a blue tinted beam is much more disruptive, much more harsh on the eyes. So there's advantages that way as well. So very briefly talking about beam tint today, you can see there are a whole host of issues that go into making a quality flashlight that's beyond simply merely looking at the lumens. And in fact, if you look for what flashlight has the highest lumen rating, you're almost guaranteed to get one that's very blue and experience all these disadvantages that we talked about today. So make sure that you get a neutral tint beam for good color rendition and be able to penetrate the fog, the smoke, the haze better, more naturally with your flashlight. No one wants to be blue.